Hello, everybody. This is Cross Border Talks, a podcast devoted to social issues and international relations in Central Eastern U Europe and the Balkans and beyond. And my name is Małgorzata Kulwaczewska Figat, joining you from Katowice, Poland. We are going to discuss the regional elections in Bulgaria that took place not uh, far away. And um, I am joined today by Mikhail Mishev, a political scientist from Bulgaria. Hello, Mikhail. Hello. It is the second time, actually, that Cross Border Talks is reporting on elections in Bulgaria this year because we published a report on what happened around and after the parliamentary elections this spring. And when coming to Bulgaria to report on them, I heard from some people that I talked to, journalists I talked to, that the regional elections will be perhaps even more important because they will tell us more in terms of how influential different political camps are and is a real political change happening in Bulgaria after years of rule of war and Vojta Borisov. So uh, we would like to analyze these issues during our talk, but first, a bit of a provocative question. Vladimir Mitev, who is the co-founder of Cross Border Talks and who unfortunately cannot be today in the talk, told me that in Bulgaria, if you don't own a business and if you don't have a direct economic interest to vote in the elections, there is no party to represent you and there is little, little point in voting at all. Mikhail, do you agree with this? Uh, I No. Uh, I think it just too simple uh, to to explain the whole uh, dynamics of politics in Bulgaria in this way. Um, of course, there are some parties that uh, have their circles of businesses um, in, in some of the uh, bigger towns in Bulgaria. Uh, but in general, uh, for, especially for the young uh, generation, um, the bigger incentive to go out and vote is uh, the democrat the, the democratic values that they they believe in uh, the urge to change something uh, so i wouldn't simplify it that much um, it is more of a social issues that you are that you want to to be solved especially for the local elections Okay, so if you want a change in Bulgaria, who could you vote for and how great is the camp of the change right now? What did these regional elections tell us about this camp of change, if we can say so? Change uh, depends how you uh, see it occurred in some of the um, uh, uh, biggest towns. For example, in Sofia, after 17 years of uh, GERP, uh, ruling in Sofia, uh, a change happened. Uh, the new mayor of uh, Sofia is uh, Vasil Terziev, uh, uh, supported uh, by uh, We Continue the Change, um, Democratic Bulgaria, and Safe Sofia. Um, also, a new mayor was elected in uh, Blagojevgrad um, in, uh, from, from We Continue the Change and Democratic Bulgaria. Uh, but also in Varna. So these are the biggest, uh, one of the biggest cities that have seen a change in uh, who is ruling the, the towns. Uh, however, uh, in the, la the large picture, not much changed because GERP actually um, retained most of the cities, most of the, uh, um, we call them uh, Oblast and Grad, the regional towns. Uh, so I would, wouldn't argue that a big change happened. However, there are some um, there are some things that you can see developing. For example, in in, in Sofia, I would love to talk about Sofia. Uh, it is worth it. Okay, so let's talk about Sofia, especially that this election was perhaps the most widely commented, not only because of Vasil Terziev, who is the winner of the election, but also because of his opponent, Vanya Grigorova, who positioned herself as the vo voice of those who were not heard so far, the voice of the workers, the oppressed, the poor, etc. So uh, what can you tell us about this candidate and about the fight around the Sofia mayor post? Uh, the two different campaigns uh, were very interesting, very different than the last elections, I would argue. Uh, 
Um, for example, what made a difference for me personally um, is Vanya Grigorova's points. Uh, she was, as a left a leftist, uh, she was more focused on social issues. Um, she was very specific on on the things that she wants to change, and she has some arguments how she will change uh, the problems, uh, solve the problems, if she is elected as a mayor. Uh, in Vasil Terziev's campaign, um, it was lacking this um, uh, specific arguments how he and his team uh, will uh, solve the problems Sofia's uh, faces. Uh, they were more focused on just meeting with people, presenting the um, uh, the, the candidate. Uh, that also happened with GERP uh, because uh, uh, Vasil Terziev and uh, uh, Anton Hikiman, Anton Hikiman was the candidate for GERP. Uh, they were Anton Hickman was known for most people because he was a host in one of the biggest uh, TVs uh, in Bulgaria. Uh, but Vasil Terziev wasn't so uh, introduced to the uh, general public. That's why they uh, we continue the change in uh, democratic Bulgaria had to present him. They did a quite long campaign, I would say, a three to four months campaign, uh, just meeting with people to be able to present the, the candidate. Uh, uh, on the contrary, uh, Anton Hikiman was presented as GERP's uh, candidate last moment. Uh, I'm not sure uh, that it was um, a decision taken by the local um, organizations of GERP. Um, I have my doubts there. However, uh, Vanya Grigorova is better known, especially for the uh, left people, um, leftists in, in, in Sofia. She has a public um, uh, figure. She's a public figure since the last five years when she was a candidate also for um, uh, for the European Parliament. She's a quite a well-known person. She's a uh, economic anal uh, analysis. Um, that that was the difference in the campaigns that I see at first. Uh, that the other two parties had to present their candidates while uh, Bulgarian Socialist Party had their candidate who is quite well known. Uh, and on the specific topics, um, uh, they, Vanya Grigorova had more concrete uh, solutions with uh, steps uh, to follow, while the others were speaking in general terms. Okay, and now the question is, if Terziev comes to power in Sofia, will there be a change on the ground? I mean, anybody who visited Sofia, I think, has seen how much is to be done in terms of infrastructure renovation or in terms of uh, living conditions in the capital. Do you hope that something will be done here? Um, infrastructure is very important. Um, this was the main focus of um, Safe Sofia, for example. Uh, Democratic Bulgaria is also heavily um, focused on infrastructure. However, what I think um, people of Sofia need, um, especially now, is not that much uh, infrastructure, but um, um, solving social issues. Uh, for example, let's take the minimum wage. Uh, um, it, it is really, really hard to live um, uh, in big cities, for example, like, like Sofia. Um, you need to, to work at least two jobs or um, uh, pay 40 to, to 50 percent of your paycheck for rent. These are more urgent issues. That's why I think uh, Vanya Grigorova's campaign was a more um, a, a well, pre, a, a more well accepted in. Um, poorer regions in Sofia, for example, than uh, Vasco Terziev's uh, campaign. Um, I don't know what will happen because um, uh, everybody knows that the mayor is the main figure. However, the local parliaments are uh, the entities that operate and um, rule the, the cities. Uh, so we continue the change and democratic Bulgaria don't have majority. They need uh, seven to eight um, um, votes uh, to, to have the majority. Uh, it's we have to know uh, to to know that um, 
local dynamics are way more different than the national. For example, um, if now at the moment we continue to change Democratic Bulgaria are partnering with uh, GERP on national level, it may not happen on local um, level. Uh, other uh, possibilities are um, present there for coalitions on local level. Um, what I think uh, is uh, needed most at the moment is a, a strong local initiative that will force and will um, um, run behind the, the, the new uh, newly elected uh, mayor and uh, local gov uh, local parliament uh, in order to force them in a way uh, to focus more on social issues uh, because that is what the people were saying not only in uh, through voting for Vanya as a leftist, but also voting for um, Vasil Terziev uh, because he was um, perceived as as, uh, as a, a new 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 actor, new entity that can manage uh, uh, Sofia. Um, however, I I think that Vasil Terziev is not really prepared for the burden that is uh, coming with this uh, position. Um, his uh, his partners from Safe Sofia have more experience since uh, uh, their leader was in the local parliament uh, last uh, last time. Mm, however, he is not focused um, on social issues at all. He focuses only on infrastructure, and uh, as I said, infrastructure is important. But more urgent uh, problems are present for the um, for the general public. Uh, if we if you see who wins in which in in uh, which regions of uh, the, of Sofia, you will see the disparity between the poor and the rich uh, neighborhood, for example. So different problems are um, present for the different communities. However, most of uh, people living in Sofia, I believe, face more social problems than just the infrastructure. Okay. If we look at another cities, do you also see another candidates that represent a willingness to do social change, namely the social change? Or was Vanya Grigorova a kind of singular phenomenon? Um, there are a couple of them. For example, in Blagojevgrad, I follow the campaign closely here. Um, the candidate who won uh, the, the local elections is um, a lawyer. He was... Uh, uh, supported by uh, We Continue the Change in Democratic Bulgaria. He won the elections of a margin of 600 votes, which is extremely, extremely close call. Um, however, his program was very focused on um, social issues, um, not that much on uh, infrastructure, for example, if we compare it for uh, with uh, with Sofia. Uh, so the different parties have the different candidates with uh, with very distinct uh, um, approach. Um, GERP had more, um, how to say it, uh, uh, in-line uh, arguments, in-line programs uh, among the different candidates. Uh, however, I, I believe the freedom of the um, uh, candidates from We Continue to Change to uh, choose their priorities played a um, big difference. Um, in Sliven, for example, uh, the current mayor uh, won the elections. Uh, it will be his uh, third term. Um, there, were, there were some uh, ambiguities uh, surrounding his, uh, his uh, way of ruling, let's say. Um, however, a huge change was seen, even though he was a uh, mayor of GERP. Uh, he was a um, economist. Uh, people uh, were assuming that he would focus on uh, uh, just the, 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 the businesses and the infrastructure. No, he focused on local issues as well. And that uh, um, uh, uh, won him the elections compared to uh, the, the, um, the campaign of uh, his uh, opponent. So the, on local level, there are uh, candidates who are well prepared to face the social issues. Um, especially in Blagojevgrad, I would argue, but time will show. How do you explain the durability of G 
GERB popularity in at least some of the regions of the country, the GERB strength in the regions. After all, all these social questions that you mentioned are also the heritage of the GERB's rule on national level. Uh, there are two aspects um, regarding the question. Uh, yes, indeed, uh, GERB was ruling for quite the time. Uh, and uh, for good or bad, most results are uh, thanks to, to GERB's um, uh, influence. Uh, I would argue that people see the problems with GERB's uh, ru ruling. Uh, however, there is a huge, huge... Um, um, uh, misinformation campaigns and uh, just straightforward lying uh, in in, the, in, the, in social media. Mm. For example, uh, people people in general, uh, especially the older uh, generations, um, see themselves as, as uh, leftists, and they would uh, vote for more social programs. Uh, however, um, there is uh, this. Um, um not they're not scared but the people usually are uh with with some doubt regarding the bulgarian socialist party because of its heritage of the communist regime back in back in the days so if you are left you either vote for BSP, who are um i would argue pro kremlin a very strong uh, um right uh, campaigns uh, um, I don't see anything that refers as uh, left in, in BSP, more of a right-wing party. Uh, that's why uh, a lot of leftist people or centrists voted for uh, we continue the change rather than for BSP. Okay, and in the final question I need to ask about the turnout, which was not huge. It was less than 50% again. And so the question is why people are not voting. Um, it is a long campaign that all parties participated in uh, during the years of uh, alienating the people from the um, from the voting uh, process, from uh, uh, decision making process on local level, especially um, making. Um, politics sounds something um, dirty, something scary, something uh, behind uh, closed doors. Um, this was, uh, in my opinion, the main reason why people are not interested in voting, because they don't see the point uh, of going out and voting. Um, they don't see themselves uh, represented and their problems uh, um, acknowledged by the candidates in most of uh, um, the, especially uh, uh, smaller towns. Um, however, uh, with the protests in 2020, 2021, uh, we can see some uh, hope um, after the, uh, after we continue change came as a party, uh, a lot more people, especially young people got uh, politically involved. Uh, um, uh, we continue the change in democratic Bulgaria have this uh, um, edge, I would say, uh, compared to the other parties of uh, engaging young uh, people. Mm, Bulgarian Socialist Party is uh, having bad time, hard times to engage uh, young people. That is a problem that they will face and they are facing now. Uh, if you follow the parliamentary elections, their support throughout the different uh, uh, elections was uh, lowering. Um, very, very uh, hard time for uh, uh, GERP too. They managed to uh, uh, save themselves as the uh, main uh, actor on national level, also on local level. However, the support that they are getting is getting um, uh, weaker. The, the, the connections that they were using to um, support and elect their local uh, candidates is uh, weakening. Uh, there were some um, splits in GERP's uh, positions in uh, uh, bigger towns. Uh, for example, in Sliven, some of the some of GERP, uh, um, GERP's uh, team was split uh, in favor of uh, the current um, president, uh, Rumen Radev. Uh, so 
GERP are losing uh, voting power. However, still uh, the, the biggest uh, party in, 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 in Bulgaria. Um, DPSA is also worth mentioning because their support was steady throughout the years. They, they are the only party that uh, was and is present in all the, the national uh, parliaments. Uh, however, on local uh, level, we can see that some of their strongholds were um, attacked by uh, weakened in the change in democratic Bulgaria. They were getting quite the support in uh, previously known uh, DPS strongholds. So there is a change. It depends how uh, different parties can see uh, the needs of the young people or they, if they cannot act uh, fast enough, they will lose support uh, quite fast. Thank you very much, Mikhail, for these uh, insights, for your comments on Bulgarian elections. What can I say in the closing remarks is that, is that a couple of years ago, stagnation was the word perhaps most uh, widely used to describe the political situation in Bulgaria under Boyko Borisov. But right now, it seems that it is no longer the case. As you mentioned, young people voting for alternatives, you mentioned ambitious local politicians coming up with more pro-social programs that uh, were not seen in Bulgaria a couple of years ago. So perhaps the better times might be coming, or at least there are people who want to work to see these better times come. Thank you, thank you very much for being with us today. And to everybody watching and listening to us, don't forget to subscribe our channels. Thank you very much and see you again.